This content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. The opinions expressed in the podcast are not those of Hearts Unite the Globe, but of the hosts and guests, and are intended to spark discussion about issues pertaining to congenital heart disease or bereavement. Greetings and welcome to Mental Health Wednesday, a special Heart to Heart with Dana podcast for Heart Month, February 2022. Each Wednesday, I have been doing a short podcast with an activity you can do to bolster your mental health. If you decide to join us in this activity, please let me know. You can send a photo or a note to share your experience, your feelings, or a story related to our task this week. This is the fourth and final Mental Health Wednesday. Last week, we talked about sharing a small aspect of your day with someone. This week, we're going to do something totally different. According to an article in Neuropsychobiology entitled Exercise and Mental Health, neurodegenerative diseases become more prevalent as individuals age. Therefore, it represents a serious problem in our healthcare system. Since inactivity is the number one risk factor for most diseases, physical activity has become an emerging topic of interest for many investigators. Exercise might act as an efficient and low-cost adjunctive factor in the treatment and prevention of age-related neurodegenerative processes. Clinical evidence has demonstrated that exercise has a positive relationship with the outcome of different mental diseases, such as depression, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease, improving not only patients' quality of life, but the disease itself. Indeed, exercise is related to enhanced cognitive functioning and brain plasticity. So I think we can all agree that we feel better after we've had a good workout, but lately I've been too busy to work out. I feel terrible about that. I have been sitting at my computer, cranking out scripts and recording podcasts, and I have been building up so much tension in my shoulders, neck, and back. Therefore, I decided this last episode of Mental Health Wednesday needed to deal with some stretching exercises. Whenever I do my yoga, I feel better. And I thought that if I feel better doing these exercises, then surely everyone else would too. Exercise is good for our mental health. So helping me today is a very special heart warrior. She is also a Hearts Unite the Globe patron and a contributor to my newest book, The Heart of a Heart Warrior. Alicia Lynch and I had an opportunity to meet in Boston at a conference several years ago, and I'm completely delighted that she's in my studio today, thanks to the use of Zoom. So welcome to our last Mental Health Wednesday for Heart to Heart with Anna Alicia Lynch. All right, so we're going to be doing some breathing exercises that go along with the stretching. Um, very simple. So you're going to be breathing in through your nose for three counts and then breathe out through your mouth. Okay. So we're going to start with the neck. So you're going to roll your head to the left and back while you breathe in through your nose. And then breathe out through your mouth for three counts going forward. We're going to do that two more times. Ready? In going back. And out going forward. You want to make sure your back is nice and straight wherever you're sitting. In through the nose. And out through the mat. You can come back up to center. You're going to put your left ear down to your left shoulder and breathe in for three counts through your nose. And out. And in through your nose one more time. And up. And then you're going to put your right ear to your right shoulder. Really stretch out that left side. Make sure you feel a little tug in your neck. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. One more time in through the nose. And out through the mouth. 
Then you come back up to center, and then you're gonna turn your chin to the left, look to the left of you, and take a deep breath in. And out. And then you're gonna turn your chin to the right, take a deep breath in, and out for three times. Then you can come back to center. Now we're gonna do shoulders. So you can keep your hands on your lap or on your knees, however you're sitting. And you're gonna lift your shoulders up while you breathe in, push them back and down and forwards while you breathe out. In, back and out and forward. One more time in. And out. And then you're going to reverse it. So while you breathe in, you're going to push your shoulders down and back. And breathe out and bring them forwards. In and back. And out and forward. One more time. In. And out. And then you're gonna reach both arms out and clasp them together. And while you breathe in, you're gonna lift them up, stretch up towards the sky, and then breathe out and bring them down. Can you feel that between your shoulder blades? If you pull, you grab onto your fingers and pull apart at the same time. One more time, in. And out and back down. You can let go, you can shake that out. Next, we're gonna do arts. So you're gonna breathe in while you put your left hand down on the mat and your right arm over. And then breathe out for three. And one more time in for three. And out for three. Then you're gonna go to the other side, place your right hand down on the mat, left arm over you, and breathe in. And up. One more time in. And up. We're gonna come back to center. And next you're gonna Put your right arm over your head and then grab onto your left elbow and tuck that just a little bit. Breathe in for three and out for three. One more time in for three and out. Then you're gonna switch sides. Get your left elbow up and grab onto it with your right hand. And breathe in and out. And in one more time and out. You can release that elbow, come back to center and shake that out. Next, we're going to do back. So you're going to take your left hand and place it behind you and then your right hand on your knee, and you're gonna look over your left shoulder and just twist. Just push a little bit, but not too much. Take a deep breath in. And out. You wanna make sure your back is nice and straight for this. One more breath in. And out. Then you can come back to center. Place your right hand behind you, left hand on your knee, and look over your right shoulder. Deep breath in. And out. One more time in. And out. Then you're gonna come back to center. And next we're gonna do our wrists. So you're gonna take 
your left hand, palm up, and then push it forwards. And then take your right hand and just pull your fingers back just a little bit, not too much, just so you feel a little stretch. You're gonna take a deep breath in for three. And out for three. And then you can let go of that wrist. You're gonna take your right palm upwards, fingers down, and grab on with your left hand and push forwards. And take a deep breath in there. And up. And then you can let go of that hand, shake your hands out. And then for this one, you can either uh, use the ground if you're sitting on the ground, or you can just push with your hand, but you're gonna um, place your palm down and then sort of make a L shape and then pull your fingers towards you and take a deep breath in. And out. And then you can let that wrist go. Go to the right side, fingers down, and pull them towards you. Not too much. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out. You can let that wrist go, shake it out. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh my goodness. I actually really do feel better. <laughs> I feel like my back is a little bit looser. Definitely. I think I probably need to do this about 10 times a day. It makes a big difference to have somebody else leading you rather than you trying to do it yourself. You did a great job. Thank you. Last week, I asked you to share a small aspect of your day with me. I loved seeing so many wonderful pets. Monica A. Mossy shared a photo of her adorable service dog, Jax, with us. Annie Alchek shared a photo of her three-legged cat with us. Amy M. Lee shared a photo of herself in her hammock with her new fur baby, Rosie. My dear friend, Jenny Muscatel, shared a darling photo of her new fur baby, Archie. To be honest with you, I think that being able to share a small aspect of your day is one of the benefits of Facebook. We share our travels, our children, our accomplishments, and more with our Facebook friends and family. Using Facebook that way is good for our mental health. That's it for this week's Mental Health Wednesday mini-series for Heart Month, February 2022. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you'll tune in to tomorrow's last Tasty Thursday episode with author Amy M. Lee and my husband Fred Jaworski as we talk about the last recipe we modified from Amy's cookbook, Snow's Kitchen. If you love lemon and you love cheesecake, you won't want to miss this yummy dessert episode. Have a great day, and remember, my friends, you are not alone. <laughs>